Breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with first contact made in the Nationals capital. Our reporter, Sammy, is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Sammy? I'm Sammy reporting live from Lampton Quay. As you can see, there is a panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens th throughout the towns and cities. These, this, these space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm to the public is very real and... Sammy, are you there? Sammy, we appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bit... Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Joining us by, uh, standing by is Bella. What's happening there? Well, yes, it's very tense here. What we can tell you is that these alien creatures smell really awful, like a mix of baked beans and bacon. It looks like one of these aliens is about to address us through a special translation device. From, we demand from you humans the following in no particular order. Number one, we want your supply of popsicle sticks. Number two, we want your world supply of crocs. And number three, we want your world supply of baked beans. If you do not give us these things as soon as possible, we will destroy you with all our power. You have three days, that is all. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is it the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement, so we will now cross to parliamentary reporter Adele. Thanks, Jane. Crowds have gathered here, but many are still on their way to work. Some people are quite unaware. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up, be afraid. Here comes the Prime Minister to address the nation. Tēnā katoa, people of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister asking each one of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make the space aliens feel welcome. We must display all of our friendly qualities that, that define us as New Zealanders. We will, we will be holding a poor fitty later today. Then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will spare us fr from destruction and will move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we re recommend that you hold your breath, smile and, keep, and quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. That is all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Prime Minister, now where to from here? To, answer, to help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss when, what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you be there? What shall we all do? Well, I think the first thing we all should be doing is grabbing our guns and shooting them because the situation could get out of hand too easily. Obviously that's completely foolish because what we should do is just invite them over for a cup of tea because they are very misunderstood creatures. No, what would happen if they turned their backs? They're wild animals, not human. What if they're cannibals? We don't trust them yet. You don't know. I'm a trained psychologist. I have studied these creatures. They would never do any harm. I might not know what they do, but what they can do is kill us. I'm not letting that happen. You have to let them, because they're harmless. How do you know? Have you spoken to them? Yes, I speak alienish. I don't believe you, that's fake. You want to hear some? Yeah. <laughs> You're speaking gibberish. Are they right? Who can tell us? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. 
Thanks, Jane. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there's an outrage and the aliens try to knock over the South Tower and use it as a space broadcast for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become, has become an alien transport lounge where they are lacked in preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. And in Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going back to hide in my basement. Back to you and Jane and Harper. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I get sick until the, or until the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on all of us. Kia kaha and we'll see you tomorrow if there is one. <laughs> I'm gonna...